Tom, we're making him even madder. Sweetie, I don't think we can make him any madder than he is right now. Oh, but he finds out that I'm pregnant. No, he's not. I'm gonna find out. I can't hide it from him forever, Mom. Listen. You listen to me. The two of us can do anything if we put our mind to it, okay? That's gonna be all right. Do you think he went away? Landview, Pennsylvania. <clears throat> the locksmith. I don't care which one, just get me one. Never mind. Hey, bust down this door. It's not your door to break down. Bust down the door or you're fired. It's not your place to fire me because I quit. I work for Miss Kramer now. Pardon? Hey, she paid me double and I didn't even have to ask. All right, I'll pay you triple. Thanks, but no thanks. My new boss is a lot easier to work for and a lot easier on the eyes, too. Blair! You got a bump shoulder, right? I don't have to worry that you could actually bust yourself in. Blair, call off your goon! This Kramer is short. Do you want me to go, please? Well. You stay back. Sean! Yes, ma'am. There's no need to call the police, all right, because Mr. Manning is leaving. You know there's only one real way you can get rid of me. Just let me say what I have to say, face to face, and then I'll leave. I promise. Star, you say the word. It's okay. Todd? I'm going to let you in, but you have to swear that you will not threaten, you will not raise your voice, you will not raise a hand, you will do nothing to your daughter. You got that? And when you're finished saying your piece, you will leave. Okay, I swear. On the lives of my children, I swear. Start talking, Todd. What, here in front of... Yeah. He's here to keep you from hurting anyone. <sighs> You're really that afraid of me? No, I'm not afraid of you, Todd. I just know that you will do anything to get what you want. Is that what you think? Yeah. Don't you know how much I love you? I was just trying to protect you, honey. Just trying to keep you safe and sound. Stop. Why don't you go upstairs and you check on Sam, okay? See if he's up from his nap. Okay. Goodbye. All right, Todd, you're on the clock. Start talking. And they lived happily ever after. Special bill, right? Yeah. See, I used to believe all that stuff when Mom and Dad used to read these stories to me. And then when Mom and Dad got married for the last time, when they brought you home, I thought that we were going to get our own fractured fairy tale ending. But... Sam, I know it's kind of my fault that you're going to grow up without your dad, but I think it's the best thing for you. I mean, he's going to make you love him, but then he's just going to break your heart. And I mean, he's always going around doing anything that he wants to do. You know, hurting anybody, but yet I still have to be perfect little star. Once he finds out that I have a fun in the oven, I don't know what he's going to do. The good news is, is that Dad adores babies. But the bad news is, is that he still thinks that I am one. Still wish I believed in happily ever after. <laughs>